Special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond and supporting the channel. They are Sam Medina, Matthew All, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, I Am Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Button 264, Justin Rice, MD640, Petri, Kono76, Ozzy Pozzy, Balalco, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Krebens, Real Fierce, Shamsy, Nathan of the Autogasms, Unlockin, and Amy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey everyone, and welcome back to End Z Mod. So, last episode, we looted this place. And then we saw the ghastly scream. I was like, no, they must take her on. And we did. Be careful now. Let's just check. Yep, there's some bosses over here. Uh, but yeah, that ghastly screamer also has massive range. He was able to hit me from like over here. So we have to be so bloody careful. Okay, there's a burnt up dude over here somewhere as well. For some reason, the bosses are struggling to make it through there. I want to break this apart so we can actually see where they are, but my stamina. I think he actually made it through just now. Oh, there you go. Ooh, it's you as well. See, look at this big dude get stuck in a door. But that screamer was able to go in all fours over here and reach me through the block. Like that. But her arms were a little bit longer, I feel like. Was it just my imagination or was she definitely longer arms? Okay, I should probably go back to the roof and just see what's going on out there. Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay, this boss is still outside, but as long as we are reloaded, I'm just really going to loot the stuff over here before they can actually see me. And hopefully we can get some resources as well. At least by crouching like this, we can see on the map where the zombies are. So that's really good. I think there's still a snake outside because every time I look over here, I, I feel like something's going through the floor or through the walls. And I think that's the snake glitching through. It looks, uh, looks, uh, looks. It looks super creepy as well. Every time you just see something pop up in front of your face, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, this has so few cabinets. Damn. I could have sworn there's supposed to be way more of here as well. Like way more uh, loot, way more zombies, way more everything. It's nighttime and currently we are kind of safe at the moment. Oh yeah, they can come from the outside and be careful of that. I open up the other switch so they definitely can reach me from outside. But it's not super impossible for me to get hit from this side right now. Um, I think it's towards the parking bay that I accidentally opened some doors up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to be fast enough that if a boss comes to me right now, I can just jump on one of the shelves and we should be safe. As long as I can do that, then we are A for okay. And, oh, oh, that reminds me. Workbenches, oh, one book away. I wonder if I should go try open trade rooms with another trader and see if he has books that we might need. It's like three kilometers away, so it's a lot of running. But it might be worth it if he has like more books that we don't know. Obviously, it's only if he has books that we don't know. Uh, the traders might just be empty as well. So it's, like a, it's a gamble, basically, whether we should or shouldn't go. I think there's also resources in the front of here, but now we can't get it because there's zombies all over. Let me just pick these up. It's safe over there is open. Let's go. Oh yeah, there's resources over here as well. Is that a burnt? Yeah, that's a burnt up boss over there. Doesn't seem like you noticed me just now. Oh, I haven't gotten all the boxes over here yet. Okay, but I've opened up that door over there. So they can already get to me from the outside. I need to be so careful. So quiet. I was so focused on getting through this place that I didn't really pay attention to all the resources that's all left behind of here. Not my biggest problem is going to be the stamina. The nice thing is, as long as we hit them with an the anti-rad mod, all I have to do is jump up to the roof and they'll go straight through the fire over here. So that's a nice way for us to burn them without really doing anything. And we're getting so many books, but not the books I need. Or want.
Because we're playing with loot respawn off. I don't mind breaking these things over here. So this is going to cave in now. But that, Oh, it's not. It's, it's hanging on the wall. Nice. Okay, so we can go out that side. I just got a tool digest book. So we can fight the bosses over here. We can just go to our bike and go back to the base. It does say return to trader, so we are done. At the same time, do we... Ah, I want XP, so I want to fight these zombies. But you saw what happened last time we actually decided to face zombies at nighttime. It was not a pretty sight. And with all the snakes all over here... Hello, burnt up dude. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. That's not good. Okay, there's a snake over there. He's trying to definitely get to us. I can take these two dudes out, but I don't know about the snake and the boss. It's easier when we're stuck behind a door. I need to get to my vehicle now and get away, but the vehicle is so slow at pulling away. I'm gonna have to run. Fight up, soldier. Charge! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, 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 don't get turned around now. Do you not dare. That would have sucked. Already we got, uh, in like three episodes ago, we were besieged from all sides at nighttime. So even though you just start with like one or two bosses, after a while you're facing so many bosses. I'd rather not take a chance, thank you. Um, yeah, we are right next door to the Vanity Tower over here. I wonder if that's also not contributing to the slight lag every now and then. This Vanity Tower is new and it's huge. And that one top floor has so many zombies on it, it's insane. Oh, I still haven't finished the pillars over here. Hello, my lady. Get you out of the way so I can work over here. So, copy shape, copy rotation. Copy rotation. Boom. The more pillars a base has, the more stable it is as well. Just realized this side only has... Nice. Now this is already going to help with the structural integrity. I didn't realize this side wasn't clear or wasn't close to done. Okay, do this. Let's go for simple rotation so it's easier to turn them. Okay. So basically at the moment what was happening was there was way too much weight on top. So not only was not, that block not carrying the weight, it was that one, but also we put this over here to help with the weight because it was it was touching the pillar. Why not? It was not touching the pillar, so that could have ended really badly just now. Now the weight should be way better controlled upstairs. I do, however, still want to place some poles and stuff over here. Um, I wonder if I were to do this. You can go for that very skinny, 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 skinny... Either this one or this one, doesn't matter. Nope. Wait, what did I just click? This one over here. We can go for advanced rotation. We can either have it really super close to the pole, like so. So it's almost touching the pole, but the zombies might still get stuck back there. Uh, we can do that for the top. That was the outside rotation. Outside rotation. But the closer it gets to the bottom over here, the more I want to actually start doing it diagonally. Or horizontally, I mean. So that was vertical. Now we just go advanced rotation. It's going to be this one. See, now all of these pillars, more or less, all of these pillars are helping each other carry over here. That's my only goal. Oh, I ran out. I was about to say, huh? Why can't I see the block? I ran out. Didn't even realize. So the horde base is technically done. We just need more steel. I wonder if I can make steel. But I'm guessing we're going to need some... We're, we're going to need the, what do you call it? Um, crucible to be able to make steel. I don't think I have a crucible, do I? Let's see. Crucible? Nope. We could buy a crucible. Our workbench has to be so high before we can even unlock these, unfortunately. So even if we have the resources, crucible, we wouldn't be able to make it. Workstation's level 75. If I can buy some steel, I should probably buy some steel. Cobble, we can make more cobble. But that we can actually put towards making more iron as well. You collector, at the moment we're not really in a, a real need of water. I could make one and put it on the other side of the trader at least. So if there's a screamer, she goes to there, not to here. 
torches. Okay, we can actually make some more writable storages. I want to I wanna sort all of this stuff out to make it look neater as well. I don't really have a base to work with at the moment. I wonder if I shouldn't just make cobble. If I make the cobble now, we'll be able to make some walls over here as well before Hood Knight, and that's going to help us greatly. This, we can repair. Oh, wow, mine's completely weaker than that one. That is a surprise. Oh, that one's weaker than this one. But this one's a stronger one. And this one's definitely better than mine. So we just go modify, take that off. I need to make sure we put all like the uh, ergonomic grips and stuff on there as well. And then these we repair because we want to sell them. Wait, am I out? How did I run out? Repair kit. I'll make another 20 or so. Craft, we can make the boxes at the back. Storage. Boom. Okay. Technically, we don't need that much. Let's just make like 17. And we all together have only 20. We don't re really need too many. And with this, we'll be able to go and repair these. Boom, boom, boom. I want to repair these to sell them. That's the only reason I put them over there. More cobble. Okay, so the gun will be able to sell. This will be able to sell. Technically, we have to put stuff on items and then we can sell them for more, I think. I think this works like vanilla, this mod. Might be wrong, though. Okay, let's first go to the trader before we start inventory management and stuff over here. Yep, you were a boss. Bye-bye. Ooh, a boss just died over there. This has been a long time since I've actually seen a boss drop a bag. No, it wasn't a boss. Damn it. Okay, so let us see over here first. This has... It seems this has reset because there's more Mega Crash and stuff. See, with this Mega Crash, we'll be able to run to our objective. Congratulations. Um, let's go sucker. for this one. Yep, more powerful. I should probably have gone for the steel that we can upgrade more boxes. Infested level four. Hmm. If you want work post office. Oh, isn't the post office? No, I was about to say, isn't the post office connected to the uh, the uh, the police station? But that's not the post office. I should probably go to uh, Bob as well and see if he doesn't perhaps have the motorcycle handlebars. At the moment, we can't make them. Oh, we might get lucky. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll also have to look for the other one, the forge ahead. You can thread volume 6. We can sell this, this, this. Make sure you don't sell anything with mods. Imagine you accidentally sell your mod. That would suck so badly. No, okay, the so do this. The vehicles out. are where? Vehicles, 31. 14 more books before we can make our own handlebars. So if we can buy some from Bob, where is those open trade routes? It seems the open trade routes are to a new trader, not Jen or anyone over here. No, wait, what? Oh, over there. But isn't that wasteland? And the wasteland's radiated, so we can't go over there, can we? Yeah, all of this is wasteland, so we can't go to the wasteland right now. We're going to get infected. Unfortunately, the wasteland starts over there. That means that open trade routes will definitely be in the wrong spot. But I think we should pro uh, probably still go. We can go do the tier 4. Uh, where's that tier 4? Upstairs. I should, I'll probably want to, I want to try and go back to Jen, see if she has what we need. Apparently the workstations that we wanted uh, were in the snow area, not the wasteland area. So if I can go back there and grab that, that'd be awesome. And there's too many hills. So I think we should probably go to Bob over there, then go to you over here, and then go back up. And if we can run on like the outskirts of here, just missing the wasteland, we can more or less tell where the wasteland is as well. So it gives us something to do. We have the quest over there. You didn't have anything else that we needed right now, right? Make sure that we don't need anything from him. How am I cheap? It's day 14, so if we can buy some cobble and stuff from the other traders as well, we'll definitely be able to finish this whole base. Already, just because we put these pillars in over here, just up to there, it's fine. Just because of those pillars, this will last even longer. And if we want to go even further, uh, copy your shape, copy rotation, do this one over here. Underneath it, this one over here. We can go all the way to the ground, and then this one over here, we can turn. Like so, so it's on the floor, so the zombies can't touch it. And then this one over here, we can put on the side again, like that top one. Boom. So there, there is a chance that the zombies might go and destroy these over here, but that's fine. If they destroy these over here, then at least those over there and the pillars will still help carry everything. And technically, to make it even more stable, copy shape, copy rotation, you just do this. 
Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Boom. Now this thing's weight should be proper. There's no way this could, uh, should be able to fail. What we can also do to make sure it doesn't fail even further. You do that. Two. One. You make almost like a, a ramp with this. So all of these blocks over here help carry the weight on this side. This way the zombies shouldn't be too heavy for Horde Knight. We can do it all the way up to that one over there. But I think up to there should, uh, should be fine. We have to be careful of the bosses. They are tall enough to perhaps even uh, break the stuff over here. There you go. Now these we can use for more blocks for the base. We do have some more cobble left so we can turn them more. I think let's run, let's run to the traders first and then see if we can buy some stuff. We have 24,000 cash. We could actually do this one. Uh, if we do that one, we might actually get more cash to be able to buy more stuff from the traders. But I don't think the traders will have that much. We're just looking for the motorcycle handlebars, basically. So as long as our food and water is doing well, let's just eat and drink quickly, drop some stuff off. The emptier we are, the faster we're going to be able to run. So first things first, food. Yep, that's going to fill us up all the way. The moment I drink a Mega Crush, it's going to fill up all the water anyway, so there's no point in doing that one. I love the fact that they added this in Alpha 20, I think. Boom, boom, boom. It was either Alpha 20 or Alpha 21 that they allowed us to drop stuff faster like this. And it makes a huge difference. Okay, this one. Modify. Modify. This. We can repair that one. Load this one. Okay, now we have a much, 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 much stronger uh, bow and arrow. And it doesn't drop as easily as this one. So this we can sell. I'm going to sell these. Uh, you know what? Even though the fire mod is thing, we do have this. So we can open up safe. Since my lockpicking sucks so much, we can open up safes that way. Why make it harder on myself? Armor, we can put this over here. There's nothing else I want to sell at the moment. The dies I'll keep. This will keep. Mini bike will keep just in case we have to drive back. So say I broke my leg or something. We can use the mini bike for that. Technically, these over here can sell. No, they don't have any sell price. I was about to say, ooh, they can sell for a lot if you repair them, but nope, unfortunately not. Ooh, hello. Since when do I have you? Level three, nice. Okay, and then these over here, we can do this later, but for now, I can just quickly do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Basically, the front's the only thing that needs to be done. The vultures are going to be a problem. But as long as we can just run on a base over here and shoot the vultures and go crazy during all night, we are fine. Technically, I need to shoot in just one range, but I want to be able to shoot those as there, there as well. So I could make these bars. And do this over here. So I can shoot straight. I wonder if I shouldn't leave a door over here so I can throw molotovs over there, but then they uh, vomit to my base. But if I put a bar over here, we can shoot through here, we can throw molotovs through there. We want to be able to shoot the bosses in their faces as well, so we do that. It doesn't look the prettiest, but at least it will do something. And then also to make sure that like, spiders can't jump from the bottom, we just do this side as well, like so. The problem is, um, since this is connected to my home base, the spiders could technically just go from my home base and jump up. So they can jump up over here and come for me to this side. Unless I uh, get enough resources now from the traders to be able to close that up. I want to do this, though. So we're going to sell those two. We have a little bit of cash. And the reason I'm going to take a ton of cash with me is just in case he actually sells the full-on vehicle. These don't sell for anything, but if you put mods on them, then that would be a waste, right? I need to sell stuff that I'm not going to be using to make sure we get as much as possible. Steel spear parts and stuff we're going to keep, actually, for now. Okay, there's nothing... All of these over here, guys, you can just scrap. They don't sell for anything. And they, they actually scrap into a ton of uh, stone, so it's worth scrapping them. Okay, so we're just going to run to the trader, quickly open up some trade routes. Hopefully, Bob and them have some stuff for us. And I'll cut back just when, if there's something important at Bob, or if something happens in between, I'll cut back. Other than that, I think I should just run all the way and cut out the running, because it's going to be a boring, boring run. So our stamina is getting slightly better because I've been... Uh, look at this. We're like 600 meters away from like one point something. And now only I run out of stamina. So the fact that we were able to run so far just now before running out is really, really awesome. If I see a pure eye as well that has a ton of resources, I should probably stop for it. Like this one over here, I think has like cobble and stuff on the one side. Cobble and stone and stuff. Let me just make sure of my story over here before we keep on going. 
I don't know. This looks like more like a military outpost. It, I mean, let's check it out. Be here, right? Oh, this looks like Brutus from uh, Rebirth Space. Oh, and I just realized, thanks to this, there might be a Forge Ahead book. Damn it. Could only wish, right? Only wish. But well, there might be a stash of here, so we can just all clear this place while we are. Uh... Hello, radiated. I know more than to let my guard down around you. Might be dogs as well if I'm not careful. See, these dudes are tanks. Now, if they're feral as well, makes killing them almost nearly impossible. I don't want to loot too much right now because, I mean, we just dropped everything as well. At least, since we dropped everything, we can afford to loot everything because we won't be too encumbered. We were supposed to get inside of a yeah. Okay, nothing. I mean, this is only like a tier one or something, so you don't have, you can't expect too much from it. It almost felt like they're supposed to be like a dog or something. It's actually a waste of potential. There could be a dog trap in here. Uh, where's that ladder? It seems like there's supposed to be a way over here to get on. Is it just my imagination? That's locked. Curious and curious, sir. Um. Seriously, though, where am I supposed to go? That goes over there. Oh, there's a ladder over here. Durr, Jean, durr. Come on, I need a, I think we already have all the forge heads, or we just need one more. Yeah, we just need one more that we can make a cement mixer. If we can make a concrete mixer before day 14, and actually you have that for day 14, that's gonna be a big, big, big um, help during Horde Night. Ah! Hello, Vulture. Okay, so we jump down over here. Come oh, on, that was a workbench just now. That should have had one. Be careful of zombies falling on your head over here. Perfect chance for them to fall right on top of your noggin. Okay, so not bad. I, I really enjoy these small kind of treats along the way. Uh, Can we jump out of here somehow? I'm guessing there's a button I could have pressed, but I want to get this quickly. And then we just keep on going. You have to be careful though, guys, because so far, every time we've come across, like, massive distances, some of the bosses have not died during a uh, night time. As you guys know, uh, in NZ, there are awakened zombies in the, de uh, the forest, burnt up zombies in the desert, and snow zombies, uh, or frozen zombies in the, the snow biome. At night time, they spawn in at 10, and then in the morning at 4, they're supposed to die. The wasteland zombies, the radiated toxic zombies, they don't die. But the fact that the bosses of you haven't been dying makes me worried, kind of. Why are they not dying? Hello. I think I got all the resources from this place already, right? And if I'm not mistaken, we have, yep, definitely looted everything, except this. This is what? Cement. Yep, cement. See, it's easy to miss every now and then just like one or two things. But I want to make sure we get most of the stuff while we, uh... Okay, and then, every time we come across these, if we have the cash, buy. It's just the easiest way to travel, it seems. I've got the best deals in you reset game. after Horde Night, that's good to know. Ooh. Bright, 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 bright yellow. Uh, tactical warfare, forge ahead, we can make ourselves a concrete mixer. So already this was worth it. But now if we can make sure that we actually also get like resources, cobble and cement and stuff. I think we've already been here though, because I think this cement was, I, I bought cobble here and the cement was already here. If he only has a bike under, let's just see under science. Oh, he actually sells the cement mixer. I wonder if I shouldn't buy it. I know it's a waste, 
But if I buy it, I don't have to make it. Making it takes time as well. We can just plop this down and make. Thank you, Survivor. You are just welcome. Soon, just please get a vehicle soon. Daily. I want to buy a motorcycle from him. Okay, so now we can run this way. I need to make sure not to waste time right now. Just run, 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 run. Uh, technically, this is a waste of time, especially if this trader doesn't have any resources. Um, ah, uh, yeah. If it doesn't have any resources, that's a waste. Let's go for uh, back to the base. We can do the tier 4 infestation, or we can just work on the base a bit. I need to make sure that we have this. That's a fallback base. Board as yeah, that's our base. We have to go there. It's, it doesn't make sense wasting all the time running over there. All this running, we can fight uh, more infested POIs. Already that tier 4 infested might have a ton of ammo for us for Horde Knight. That's definitely going to be worth going there instead of just running around. After Horde Knight, where we can actually go visit all the traders again. This trader does set a reset at day 15, so if we can come back here day 15, we might be lucky. Also, do this. Okay, so now we can make ourselves a cement mixer. I think I'm still going to make one, but I, I can just place this one down while the other one's making. That way we can make sure that we actually have stuff crafting while we wait the other one to finish. I think it's going to be like a minute or two for it to craft. It's not gonna really going to take too long. Although sometimes it takes like 10 minutes depending on what you're crafting. Careful of the snakies. Remember guys, in the waste, oh, in the wasteland, the desert, when you're running around, if you see a snake stand still for too long, go closer. Because it might be dead, you might get 150 meat from it. I think this one's dead. Nope. See the HP bar, it's not dead. You can only see if it's dead if you get close enough, because one, it's going to be the HP bar, and two, you'll be able to see it lay on its side. If they lay on their sides, they are not dead. This is a prime example. I just saw this one tip over. I wonder if it's from just being in existence too long. Like if I want to make a thumbnail and I spawn zombies in on like an empty world to take a thumbnail. Uh, if you keep them in place, it takes them a whole day and they just end up dying on their own. I wonder if that's what the same with the snakes. They've been alive for too long, so they just end up dying and then new entities spawn in. Like the game thinks, oh, okay, you're not going to do anything about them, so let's just kill them off and spawn zombies closer to you. I think that is actually what happens. Okay, now... Our trader resets when? All the okay, day 15. Okay, fucker. You respect the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. Alright, now that we're done doing business... Get out of my store. Okay, we are, we're gonna have to move these workstations later, but for now... Let's read that. Concrete mixer over here. Boom. Can we pick this up? No. We need way more cobble before we can do anything over here. Concrete mix, we can make 110. Why? Oh, we need stone. What happened to all my... Oh, yeah, I made cobble. I was like, what happened to all my stone? <laughs> I literally just used all my stone. Uh, what if I shouldn't go mining a bit? How many shots will it take? Would you break the stone over there? That destroyed stone, so it's going to give us stone and sand. Only 110 concrete mix is not enough. I want to make sure we can actually get all of this done over here. And then I'm thinking of leaving these boxes over here or breaking them down and moving them around a bit. Basically, when the zombies are over there, they can vomit and they might hit the stuff. So if I can put the the boxes in this side, this corner over here, because it's one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And there can be like four high and then down. So it's a wall of 20 boxes. And then we just have to place a super thick wall over here in case they vomit from that direction. There's no more boxes, right? Yeah, we just need resources right now, which is a big problem. We don't really have any resources to work with. But now we'll just put the boxes away. Anything and everything we're not going to use right now, we can just put away, so that's nice. Boom, boom, boom. Weapons, I didn't even sell these. Wait. Trader box. Boom. At least everything else more or less already has a box, so it's easy enough to drop stuff in. Dew collector. Oh, I made the dew collector. That's right. Uh, the dew collector itself, I'm thinking of putting like on the other side of the base. We could put it over here, but we might get a quest over there, so we'd, I don't want to take that chance. If I put it over there and we get a quest, we're going to lose the dew collector. Hello, hello, hello. See, this dew collector does uh, create heat, so you need to be careful of that. How did I not get these resources over here? Okay, anyways, um, dew collector, where can I put you? That's going to be safe. It needs to be on a roof or something, I think. Can it stand over here? No, it says it's going to fall if I put it there. I 
to be able to hold right there. Okay, so we're going to have three waters every day. Like proper, proper waters. But we have so much normal water. Anyways, I haven't run out of water a single time yet, so that's awesome. Damn, I need stone. What's the easiest way? Let's just see over here how much stone do we get from breaking this. Eh, not bad. If I can get some Rockbuster candy from the trader, we might be able to get way more stone. If I can get a thousand stone doing this, we'll be able to make at least a hundred concrete mix. I think, more or less. Okay, we're almost at a thousand. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom, thousand on the dot. I uh, just realized we haven't looted this thing yet. These are actually really awesome early game because of boom, cooking pot, nice. If you, if you need a cooking pot in the beginning of the game, guys, always look for a food station like this. A food truck. These food trucks are great source. Not all of them do have, but most of them have. So if you just need a cooking pot, just quickly go in there and voila, problem solved. All of this, hopefully this will hold. Technically, I need to make this concrete as well, just in case they go for the pillars. But I'm hoping they go for this over here more. If we can just make a little bit more cobble, perhaps, and then just put the ladders over here, they're more likely to go for the ladders than anything else. I'm just really hoping this base doesn't fail. If it fails, I'm gonna have to run somewhere. But where is the problem? If we can just get on the roof of something, then we should be fine. Okay, anyways, uh, that is done. Concrete mix over here. Boom, a thousand more, there you go. Already just with this, we'll be able to do a little bit more too. I'm more interested in making sure that these are all concrete than I am making my, my defense of your concrete. Uh, the reason for that is we also want to make sure we can go and put that. We want to put some bars over here so the zombies jump over the bars. That's holding weight. That's holding weight. That's holding weight. And no, now it's holding weight. Earlier it wasn't. I was shocked to see it wasn't. Do that. Remember guys, you have to make sure that everything that holds weight like that thing holds weight, so it has to be the same resource as this. That just now was cobble, weaker than concrete, so it can't hold all the weight. Now you should be able to place a few blocks over here before it breaks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And these have a mass of five. It's already a hundred weight. Just from the other frames over here. Which means if I also go and put some bars and stuff over there. If I go and put a bar over there. Over there. Over here. and uh, uh, Like over here so they can jump from over here. And then we don't even need one over here. So we need to put one over here so when they turn around they jump off. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. One there. One there. One there. One here. That way, there's, it's almost impossible for them to make it to us because every time they jump, they're going to fall down. I do need to make sure, though, that that is concrete as well, and that's concrete. And then we have to go fetch. Where did I see you just now? That drop next time. Boom. Drop. Okay, so if you guys liked this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more NZ fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.